stronger enemy than they ha or enemy stronger army than they have. Um, I have a strong economy. Basically, it, it where it becomes beneficial for them to be a young junior partner of the personal union. They will just sit in it, and I can move them up to uh, 200 standing and just wait. And as long as my prestige stays above, stays pretty high, and theirs stays pretty low, which if they're in a personal union, it generally does. Um, I will be able to eventually inherit them. Um, why I would want to do that? When you inherit a country that you have a personal union with, every province that they own, that they have a core on, when you receive it, you immediately gain a core on it. Um, this can happen whenever your king dies and you end up inheriting them. Why that is important? Well... In order to form the Spanish nation, as you can see, I need Barcelona, Aragon, and Valencia. Now, and I need cores on all three of those. Aragon and Valencia, no big problem. I can get that. But Barcelona is their capital. Which means that I have to conquer the entire other country and break it into pieces and whatnot so that I can finally, inevitably, annex them. Then, after I annex them, I have to wait another 50 years to be able to get a core on that so that I can then inherit them. That takes a really, really long time. I don't want to spend that much time waiting, frankly. So, they can go fuck themselves, to put it politely. We're just going to run this army over here. We're going to fix the CD, their Sardinia problem. Yay. And once again, that'll raise our standing, as you can see, 123. Diplomat died. So we're going to try to raise another diplomat. Yeah, that's what I figured. It was Sardinian nationalists. Okay, so he was inaugurated last year, and he has an heir. Fuck them. Fuck you, Berbers. Oh hey, they sent me troops. How utterly useful. Uh, commission painting. Probably going to get another one this year so I could commission another. Actually, do I even need another diplomat? Still going down 0.9. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's under four years. It's available. Nothing interesting. I think I'll get a government tech guy. At this point, I might as well just let it go the long way. No point in wasting more men. Seven, fourteen, forty-three, two more years. Okay, I only have one more province in the entire empire that needs to have a constable. I'm really amazed that Lisboa is still holding on.
It can't be holding on for much longer, though. Crazy. Alright, I'm not waiting any longer, just to salt it. Let's go. It's up to 150. Now I have to decide what I'm going to build next. Um, kill them. It's the obvious solution. Kill them. You have no reason to be more liberal. Understand the true glory of God and all that happy shit. I have to figure out where we're growing next. Um, actually, fuck. Alright. Let's commission a painting. And... We'll do one more. Might as well get it up to 100%, right? And then we're going to get a statesman. To fill the empty spot. Burgundy, can you go to war with, <coughs> with someone and lose all your troops? Pretty please. You can keep going. Oh my god, they have 70,000 troops. All right, I can cancel that next year. Fuck. And effectively, it will be after I switch... ...thingies. Commission another painting. Get me a statesman. Level 5 is okay. Probably already people out there that have nine government, huh? What did you take? National trade policy, military drill. You're still Holland. You're still Holland. Alright. Not as bad as I thought it would be. What the shit? Alger Zone's provinces in... Whatever. Whatever. Alright, now we make a decision here. Marketplaces will... Increase my trade income. Churches will... Reduce stability cost. Yeah, I gotta do that. All right. Oh shit, I've been Trade Technology 7 for a long fucking time. I could have done it. Son of a bitch. I could have switched this to Quest for the New World like years ago. I'm retarded. Think that. You're going to be next. Um. All right. So, 
to split a Karak out of here. And move it up here. And recruit an explorer. Oh my god. And then we are going to have him patrol here. Because basically, uh... As long as I've got the explorer in there, every time he goes into a province, a water, a sea province that borders a land province that I don't know, he has a possibility of discovering it. We discovered Madeira. So let's start colonizing. Brunswick just inherited Saxony. Patrolling. Should go over here. Let's have you start patrolling the shelf. Should hopefully be able to colonize the Azores from here. a year. Get this gap right here. Stop drawing. Let's see, park you back over here in Lisboa. I'm gonna get this. No, 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 no. Don't disband. Yes. All right, getting sugar out of there is excellent. Sugar is one of the better, better things you can get. Um, and we're gonna park this galley over here. The reason that we're parking the galley over there is to increase well it's not for right now it's it's for later later on when we have piracy problems that will allow us to, to deal with the pirates okay nobody lives on the Azores so let's colonize that now too Now, churches. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look like it does much. Stability cost minus four. The, the thing is, is the stability cost here, it reduces it by four before modifiers are applied. Um, which means that each individual church that I build is actually going to give a huge boost due to the fact that I have multiple... Oh, whatever. Uh, I have multiple... Nationalities. Forgot what the word was. Within uh, within my empire. Okay, come out to the Azores. Wow. My colonial maintenance is bad.
I'm just working on exploring the area around, uh, see what kind of shit I can find. Maybe I can find a better place to go. Um, it is a goal to hit the Horn on South America as well as Bermuda so that I can jump to the Northeast. Um, long-term goals, long-term goals. None of that happens immediately. January 1st. So after you get down there, get your ass back up there. Actually, no, don't. Okay, you'll make it February 12th. And then you'll be able to punch up to Madeira. That and the Azores. You need guys. Yay! Didn't sink. And I am paying full maintenance for my ships. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be building anymore. What's your growth? 55 a year. And yours is the same. I'm going to rename this fleet. Exploration, so I can find it on the list on the side there. So it needs two months. Actually, I'm only going to give it the one, and then it's going to move back over to the Azores. And that will give it 100%. We're going to continue moving towards Bermuda. I forget exactly where it is. I want to say it's somewhere in this area, but I don't fucking know. My infamy goes down by one a year. I would rather have one infamy. My heir died and I do not currently have illegal heir. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus. That is not good. Uh, what does happen when my queen dies? A Castilian noble secedes to the throne. Nope, go home. Man, the Azores get the next guy. I want to finish the Azores first, because if I finish the... Whoa! Let's 
see, this is what I mean. Burgundy started taking apart France. It's an inevitability at some point. Ugh, I don't care about Italy. I have no Italian ambition. Military is workforce. Fuck do I care about fish? Yeah. That guy will be worth a pretty penny. slider, another march towards centralization. out. Back to the Azores and re whoa, not that. Rebuild yourself. I eagerly anticipate that getting to level nine, because then I will get colonial ventures, which I will then change at a later date. Five months. This boy is just holding on, man. It's gotta be barely holding on. Barely. It's going to be a large upheaval of the trade network in the near future. Should start seeing some cores soon. go. Once the Azores finish, I'm going to start working on the Canaries. God damn it. Unless I can reach Bermuda. If I can reach Bermuda, then I'm going after Bermuda first. Start 
patrolling. Alright, we've discovered Bermuda. Gotta do something about that. Just outside of range. It's cool. Still outside of range? Still outside of range. By about 50. So it'll be a while before we're able to get there. But once we're able to get there, we'll be the first ones that are there. Come on, hurry up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh thank god. Alright, I got enough money that I can start building churches again. So let's hop over here. And just start pounding out some churches. What tech do I get barks at? And so it's a tech after blockading ports. Shit. The tech at which you blockade ports is the tech at which um, pirates start spawning. And pirates are generally bad all around. as you would expect. December That'll probably be the last one of those for a while. Okay, so I only need to send one more colonist to the Azores, and then they'll finish their own, 